So in 2016, I went to bed, it was probably like 1230, and I had a scripture from the Bible on my brain. I was trying to go to sleep, and I was like, yeah, I'll look it up later. Um, couldn't get it out of my mind, and I couldn't go to sleep. I, it just kept like burning in, in my mind, so I had to look it up. And it was in Philippians, and um, I actually have it on my wall, and um, reading these uh, verses, the business idea popped into mind. And one of the verses that stuck out to me was not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. And that's in Philippians. And it actually didn't register um, when I named it Fruitful Boutique that to be fruitful was in that scripture um, when I got the idea. But as soon as I read that, the idea came to mind to um, start making um, accessories. Um, clothing didn't come till later. It was just bow ties and headbands for children. And that's where it started. My primary full-time job is being a stay-at-home mom, which I love. Um, so my typical day, work day, because that is a job in itself, um, is, you know, waking up in the morning, taking care of my son, you know, we wish my husband off to work as he works during the day. So I have the joy of raising my son while knowing that I am an owner of a business as well. You know, we play together, we eat together, I get to see him grow, I get to teach him, you know, all the difficulties of being a toddler. I get to see that all day long because I'm the one that gets to take care of him. I see that every day. Um, and then once he goes to bed, me and my husband have our time. We watch TV, talk, whatever, until maybe 11.30. We're kind of night owls. And then once he goes to bed, that's when my work starts with Fruitful Boutique. Um, I usually start around 11.30, 12 o'clock and I start uh, prepping the orders. I spend my time sewing maybe until 2.30, sometimes four o'clock in the morning, depending on how many orders I have. And then I go to bed and start all over at 7 a.m. Uh, with my son and my husband again. And um, usually when my son takes a nap, I am back at it. Um, fulfilling emails and answering questions for my customers, going, getting things ready to go to the post office when he wakes up. And that's when we usually go to the post office. And he gets to be a part of that work. We get really excited. That's his thing. He loves going to the post office with me to help mommy work. So earlier this year, I was discovered on Etsy by this local bourbon store. They just reached out. I had no clue who they were and uh, their name's Cork and Barrel, and they were just were opening up a second store in Lexington. And they asked me if I ever thought about doing a wholesale order, which I've never done a huge bulk order before. Um, so they asked me to do a couple. They like, I have a Kentucky Derby bourbon bow tie, and then they wanted a different bourbon bow tie as well. So that was my first large wholesale order as a store to send out to another store to sell my items. So I would consider myself a mombi if I didn't have my coffee or an energy drink. Through the night to just crush it, <laughs> to stay awake and stay wired because I would not be able to do it. I'm getting like four hours of sleep some nights. So in the mornings, I mean, I probably drink more coffee than I do water. <laughs> so that's how I am able to be a normal person and a semi-good mom <laughs> that's not on the edge the whole time I'm with my toddler. And then I kind of go hardcore with energy drinks at night to power through to the work night. <laughs> my ultimate goal for Fruitful Boutique is to stay custom because everybody has a different body type and no matter how you make clothing, to fit everybody's body type, there's gonna be someone like me, because I've tried different um, clothing brands that's for everybody's body type, and it never looks good on me or doesn't look good on somebody else or one of my friends that tries it. So for me, I wanna stay custom to everybody's needs on making them feel good about themselves. 
staying true to themselves and knowing that they can slide in a piece of clothing and they're gonna look good as soon as they put it on because it's made directly for them. My vision is to have a custom section in a store where they, the customer can pick out their own fabric and their own style and I can make that for them. So to have a store that I can measure Everybody can come in and feel like a VIP, I guess, when they shop with Fruitful Boutique. That's how I want people to feel, is like they're in charge of what they're wearing and how it's made, and I want them to have good quality clothing. I want them to be able to afford it. I don't want to overcharge just to, of course I want to make a profit, but I'm not going to overcharge, you know, so I can be this hot shot, you know, brand name person. I want people to feel comfortable, they can shop with me and know that it's going to be made exactly to fit their body type and, and just be good quality all, all the way around. Not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account.